Have you ever tried to add auto-tune to your vocals, but you just can't get it to sound the way it does on your favorite artists? Ever tried using auto-tune, but it sounded off, a bit weird? Wanna know exactly how to use auto-tune the right way and understand all the important settings? If you answered yes to any of the questions above, then this is the perfect video for you because I'm about to reveal how to use auto-tune for beginners in any DAW and how you can auto-tune your vocals like your favorite rapper or singer but before we start if you want five of my best beats for absolutely free so you can get your music heard and get it on streaming platforms like Spotify with five basic licenses then go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats or click on the link in the description down below remember these five beats will not be available and free forever so grab them now while this offer still lasts let's get into it shall we the first thing you need to do in order to auto tune your vocals right is you need to know the key of the beat you're writing to now if you've bought any of my beats links down below go to jcarteray.com forward slash beats they will come with the key on them so as you can see this says g sharp minor so you know that this beat is in g sharp minor there's no more thought that needs to go into this you don't need to go online or use any apps in order to find it out that's all you need and generally if you're going to be buying beats or getting beats from a producer or producing your own beats, you should be able to ask the person what key that beat is in. And if you're producing it yourself, you should know. If that's not the case, and for some reason you you know went online and got some free beat or something, what you can do is you can just go to a key analyzer. So if I type in key analyzer, we'll get a bunch of key analyzers here. The one that I usually will use is a tune bat. So we can get song key and BPM analyzer. And all you need to do here is drag your song over here and then it will analyze that and try to get it right. It doesn't 100% work all the time, but most of the time it's pretty accurate, okay? And even if it's inaccurate, it's usually pretty close. But the best way is to just buy a beat from someone who actually labels it like me, hello? or produce your own beats. I've got a free course that walks you through how to do that, link down below, and a paid course that walks you through how to do that in depth, link down below as well. Step two is to actually set the key in your auto-tune. Now that's why you need to know the key. If you do not do this part, then you're gonna be messed up because you, everything's going to sound wrong after that. Also, you could use auto key to find the key of your beat, by the way, because that comes with auto-tune and you basically just put it on wherever your beat is and then you play your beat and then it automatically finds the key. So let's just quickly play this beat back. And as you can see, it got right. And then you can send this to all instances of auto tune in your project. So that's really nice. I really like using auto key for that, but that's not free in that online website is, okay? But let's bring up auto tune right now. So this is auto tune. As you can see, it's in G sharp minor. That's the most important thing is to get the key right, yeah? So we got it in G sharp minor. If you don't get that right, everything else will sound terrible. I understand that because that's super important. Before we get into the next settings, if you want your vocals to sound Spotify ready before you even get to the mixing stage, grab my Spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template link down below. This will have your vocals sounding smooth and professional before you even start mixing. I use this for all my recording purposes and it also comes with a PDF that walks you through all the different settings that I use for all my different plugins. So if you don't want to use the same plugins, you want to use your own different plugins, you can still use the same settings and create a template of your own. Even if you don't want to use the same DAWs I use, you can still download this template. Link down below, go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates. Trust me, it's going to save you a bunch of time and have everything sounding beautiful. For example, this verse, this song that I've recorded in here hasn't been mixed at all. It's just been put in my template and this is what it sounds like let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot never sounds pretty good right sounds pretty clean now the next thing we want to do is we want to set the import type now the import type really just depends on your vocals i've got quite a low male vocal so i'll generally go with that 
But if you're unsure, generally you'll know, innit? Soprano is super high, alto tenor, alto tenor is medium and then low male is low, of course. So generally for women, you're gonna go alto tenor, maybe soprano if you've got a super high voice. And then for men, you'll probably go low male to alto tenor unless you know you got castrated as a young boy and you don't have any balls, then maybe you're at soprano, innit? So try alto tenor and try male if you're a male and just pick whichever one sounds better to you. I found that low male was the best one for me. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna set the strength of correction. As you can see, my correction is set to six. So let's copy that so we can get back to that later. You can set it to zero, which just means that it's going to correct it immediately. If there's anything that's going wrong, it's just gonna correct it straight away. Okay, so let's go through the corrections and let's let you hear them. Let's also solo this so we're only hearing the vocals and we're not hearing anything else. Okay, so you're just hearing auto tune. So let's actually start on six and then we'll move it around. So this is what we got. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. This has been the perfect setting for me because it's it's quick enough that it sounds like it's being auto-tuned, which is what I like, but it's not so quick that it sounds weird, which is exactly what I want. So let's play it back with zero. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest, in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shared a bed, never thought that it was love. Mm. Never saw a future where it was just us. Ooh. Let's play make believe like it's very close to like zero is very close to six so it's not making that much of a difference but if we was to lower it to like 20 then it's gonna sound worse and worse in terms of my real vocals are gonna come through and it won't be as auto-tuned as we would like it to be so let's play now let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot never shed a bed never thought that it was love mm. see how at just 20 it doesn't really sound like it's being auto-tuned at all it sounds realistic it sounds like this is just what my voice sounds like so if that's something that you're going for you want it to sound realistic you don't want it to sound that it's being auto-tuned then you want more retune speed if you want it to sound more more like it's being auto-tuned you like that effect which is something that i like and something that i like when i hear from like my favorite artists then you want to go closer to zero so between zero and 20 generally where you're going to want to be if you go lower than that it's pretty much like there's no auto-tune on so if you play it back at like one full three let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine sh at that point, you can really hear the flatness in some of those notes and it's just not sounding pretty. And if you go to retune speed 400, it's basically like there's no retuning on there whatsoever. Let me quickly play that back, but I don't want to do this for too long because it's not going to sound nice. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. So you hear that? You hear that? That sounds awful, yeah? If you put that back down to six, let's see the difference, yeah? Big difference. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest, in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shed a bed. Every time it was going to be super flat or sound disgusting, the auto tune's like, get out of there. We're going to make you sound interesting. Make you sound beautiful over here. Add a little bit of robotic spice to you so generally you want your retune speed to be quite fast about 0 to 20 any less than that you're basically not going to be tuning it that much okay next thing you're going to want to do well the first thing you generally want to do is to click classic that is the effect that professional artists use so if you're trying to sound like you know Gunna, Young Thug, Lil Durk, Quavo, any of your favorite trap artists or any pretty much most artists out there that are using autotune will be using the classic version. So make sure to set it as classic or if you don't use classic then just don't use the flex tune which is something that I never use anyway. So just have it on classic. The next thing you may want to do is you might want to humanize it a bit. Humanizing basically does what it says on the tin, it makes it sound more human instead of sounding robotic. So if we went all the way to zero, I did. so as you can hear, when it goes friends, it goes friends like that. 
and it's artificially artificially been taken to the next level so you can hear it auto-tuning. Let's pretend we're friends. So focus on that. And then if we add some humanity into it, let's go to like 20. It should sound more human and less like that. Let's pretend we're friends. Like no, nope, still sounds pretty much like that. Let's go to a hundred. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shed a bed, never thought that it was love. Mm. See, with the humanization, what it just sounds to me is like it's just gurgling. It doesn't really sound like it's very much humanizing it as I want it to, but you can definitely use that. So if we go back to it and this Let's to my friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shed a bed. Never so and then if we humanize it. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot Never shed a bed It doesn't really make much of a difference for me Personally, if I went into humanize my vocals, my auto-tune i just make my retune speed higher So instead of being at 6, I'd maybe move it to 12 instead of messing with the humanized because the humanized really doesn't humanize the way I would want it to. So really, when you're using auto-tune, the most important parameter is retune speed. Everything else, leave alone, yeah? Get the key right, get the input type right. Remember, you can change between these. So if I went to, let's try soprano and see what it sounds like, by the way. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. It doesn't change everything that much. It just makes it harder for auto-tune to actually understand what your vocals are supposed to sound like. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot. So it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it gives auto-tune a baseline. So that's that. Retune speed, most important. Key, most important. Input type, a little bit. Hit classic, you're done. Bob's your uncle, perfect auto-tune for beginners don't really need to do much than that that's how you use auto-tune and get it sounding beautiful let's unsolo this and have a little bit of the auto-tune in action let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot never shed a bed remember this hasn't been mixed at all it's just been put through my spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template grab it link down below have your vocal sounding professional in seconds if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below check out that video next and i'll see you in the next one peace out